A company based here in Colorado has shipped hundreds of tons of radioactive waste from Europe to southeast Utah. As Rob Harris shows us, that has indigenous people living nearby concerned for their safety. Members of the Ute Mountain Ute tribe say they're worried about their health in their home after learning the White Mesa Mill near their tribe has received radioactive material from overseas. We don't ever get notification on what is being trucked to the mill which is a concern. Colorado-based Energy Fuels has contracted with a mineral plant in Estonia, which processes two metals that are found in electronics like cell phones. It produces a byproduct containing uranium, and about 660 metric tons of it have been shipped to the U.S., according to a recent state inspection report. There was no place in Europe that could accept this waste. According to the CDC, inhaling large concentrations of uranium can cause lung cancer, and uranium can also cause kidney damage if it's ingested. But Energy Fuel says there's no reason for concern, and the mill monitors for pollution. The Utah Division of Waste Management and Radiation Control says the mill is in compliance with its permits, and it found no problems during inspections. Instead of throwing this stuff away and just wasting the uranium, we're able to recycle it at the White Mesa Mill and uh, recover the uranium, uh, which we then sell to nuclear power plants. Still, the Ute Mountain Ute tribe and its supporters feel in the dark, and they're worried that a dangerous precedent could be set. Certainly becoming a world destination site for radioactive waste disposal is not something that appeals to the tribe. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. The Ute Mountain Ute Tribe has received a grant from the EPA to create a study looking for any health effects for people living near the mill.